Hey everybody, it's Melinda from Paper Wishes by Melinda. I promised I would pop on and um, do another video this week. I know the last one was probably so humorous you would hate to miss out on another one. Hopefully I won't ink my clothes, drop things on the floor, but there are no guarantees. I have this really funky light over me. I apologize. It looks like I've, I don't know, seen the light. I'm not sure why it's doing that tonight. So I'm going to flip my camera over so you guys don't have to look at this like glow. Um, around me. Ha ha. I've got some really fun cards. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet because that's my goal. And I always tend to ramble on and they get long. So I apologize, but I have some super cute cards. It is like 30 below in Iowa. So I thought you only did some flowers and some bright colors. So that's what we're going to feature. Don't forget it is celebration in Stamping Up. So now until the end of February for every, um, $50 order or $100 purchase purchase, you get to purchase um, pick free gift of your choice from the celebration catalog. There are free stamp sets or free fun DSP packs or a combination of both. There's some great, great choices in this catalog. If you need a catalog or a demonstrator, just let me know. I would be happy to help you. If I can help you with any questions, please email me at Melinda at paperwishesbymelinda.com. There is also an amazing recruiting special, an amazing one this month for um, $99. You can join Stamping Up as a demonstrator a hobby demonstrator, a kit robber, a part-time, fun-time, full-time business, whatever you want it to be. You, you honestly will never know until you just try it. I was going to order one time and never, ever place another order again. Yeah, well, that was like eight years ago, and here I am today. I love Stamping Up. I love to make cards, and I love to share them with you. So for $99, consider joining Stamping Up. Seriously, that's a pair of shoes these days. If you love to paper craft at all, and you love paper crafting tools, products, great supplies, everything coordinates. Look at Stamping Up. $99. You get to pick the products of your choice for $99. Um, however, you get to pick $125 worth of products for $99. Now that's a bargain in and of itself. Then you get free shipping. Free shipping. Like, I love free shipping. Anything that's free shipping is always a good deal. Then during celebration, you also get to pick two stamp sets of your choice two. So that's another bonus. It is an amazing deal. You won't regret it. Try it. If you don't like it, keep the kit. No worries. If you love it, keep ordering. Discount shopper, hey, it's the best. 20% off all your orders. If you continue to remain active, your discounts can go up from there. I love to be a Stamping Up demonstrator. I absolutely love to get my products ahead of everyone when they come out early. We get to exclusive order pre-orders. It's one of the best parts. I love to have um, products on hand when I want them. I love to stamp and share with you. I don't make, a, I don't buy a card. I absolutely don't buy a card. I love stamping up. My kids ask me for cards. I love it. It, it just warms my heart. Um, so I've got them trained well. Um, but anyway, seriously, if you love paper cramping, um, paper crafting, oh, that didn't sound good. Um, stamp booking, stamp booking. I should just give up while I'm ahead. Scrapbooking or any paper crafting gift giving, um, stamping up products are awesome products. And being a demonstrator is so much fun. There's free training if you want it friendships. I have a Paper Wishes team. We'd love to have more members on there. We have fun. I um, just really, really love to um, work with my team members too. So if you're looking for something fun, a treat to yourself, it's Valentine's, you know. Um, think about becoming a demonstrator. $125 worth of product for $99. Hurry during celebration. You get to get two free stamp sets along with all of that and free shipping. It is so much fun. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to flip this camera over. Um, sorry for the bumpy ride to get there. And I'm going to show you some fun cards. I'm going to do a celebration set. Some fun flowers because since it's 30 below, we need flowers, right? We have to feel like it's warm because it's cold here. It's really cold here. And it's going to get worse. Sometimes I wonder why we live here. Oh, well, we're stuck. I married a farmer. So I am stuck in Iowa. It's not all bad. Um, let me know if you have any questions and hopefully these cards warm you up a little bit. There's a couple fun techniques and uh, I tend to ramble. So let's get going here. Flip your one over. All right. I think you can see my card base. Get this tightened up and here we go. We are going to feature the celebration catalog for one of the projects. I'm going to set that aside for a minute 
and let's start with our warm cards. The um, first set we're going to make two cards with is out of the catalog, and it is the um, Flowering Fields bundle. I am in love with this beautiful DSP. The um, brass butterflies are so much fun. The stamp sets are amazing. You can get the whole suite ribbon or you can purchase them a la carte or as a bundle. I highly recommend the bundles. You can get the stamp set and the die cuts. The second card we're going to feature is the um, Creativity Multiplied. This is an amazing set too. So I'm going to do a couple cards with this one. These are in the Spring Mini catalog. If you need a catalog or a dis uh, demonstrator, you can always um, message me at paperwishesbymelinda.com and I will um, or you can email me, take care of getting you a catalog. The first card we're going to make is using Pool Party. And I have already done all the cutting, so these cards will hopefully roll along a little faster for you. Um, here we go. All right. This is a um, four and a quarter by 11 card Pool Party base, and it is scored at um, five and a half. I did cut an inside base at a basic white cardstock four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. And when I say scored, that is using our paper trimmer to score it. We have a cutting line and a scoring um, piece on our paper trimmer. And then use your bone folder to crease it. Next, I took a piece of real red cardstock and I took some DSP from the um, and this is my own pack that's been cut up a lot. Look at this fun, fun, fun tulip paper. I mean, look at these colors. Doesn't, don't you just feel warm? Don't you just feel like spring is around the corner? This is from the Flowering Fields pack. So we are going to use the Flowering Fields DSP. I cut a piece of real red cardstock, four by five and a quarter, and I cut a piece of the DSP, three and three coarse three and three fourths inches by five. And I am going to just go ahead, my tape runner cooperates, and stick this down to my real red cardstock, like so. I feel like my camera's a little bit crooked. Hopefully it's working for you guys. Okay, now I also took my um, Stitch So Sweetly die cuts. If you have one die cut set of any of them, that you want to purchase. It is the Stitch So Sweetly die cuts. I use these all the time. I've worn out a set and I stamp a ton. I love them. I use them all the time. We're going to make a thank you card. And this one I picked is from the Flowering Tulip set. And I'm going to do the thank you. You are so thoughtful. Thank you. You are so thoughtful. I mean, just a perfect thank you card. Look at the fun tulips. Um, no one deserves a better birthday than you. That's going to be the next card we do. Love you so much. Um, just thinking of you today. Great sayings, great set, very fun tulips. There are die cuts that come in the set. I have those in the back of my, I like to keep them all together. So very fun. This is a bundle when you purchase a stamp set and die cuts. So that's the flowering tools, flowering tools, tulips. We're going to get this red, um, inked up with our real red ink and I love our Paula Premier stamps because you can see through them so I am going to go ahead and stamp my thank you note right down on my stitch so sweetly die cut we're going to set that aside and we are going to close up this ink because open ink is always a problem you can see I've already inked my fingers earlier tonight and I am going to go ahead and stick this die cut label out of the stitch so sweetly die cuts down to my other die cut, centering it like so. Then I'm going to take a piece of pool party or gandy, and I am just going to take a small piece of ribbon. I should have had this pre-cut. Sorry, I'm trying to keep these cards moving along for you guys. And I am just going to snip it off. I'm going to take some mini glue dots, actually, this will hold with adhesive, um, so I don't even need to use mini glue dots there. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick our ribbon down. You can use mini glue dots, or you can go ahead and use your Stamping Seal Plus. I love to use the Stamping Seal Plus. Just gives a little more um, stick, I think, to it. 
Then I'm going to take some of our dimensionals and I like to give my cards dimension. I just love to pop them up a little bit. I don't always do it, but it is fun to just, I don't know. I think it just gives them some fun weight. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good word, but anyway, we're going to take your, take your pick tool. And we're going to pop off the back of the dimensionals. I like to do this because it just kind of keeps them from flying all over your house. You can literally trace where I've been stamping um, because the, the little backings of the stamping dimensionals seem to follow me throughout the house. And I just kind of laugh sometimes when I head upstairs because you can tell where I've been. They just follow me throughout the house. So we're gonna place that on our card front. We're gonna get ready to stick our label down. And once again, I'm gonna use some more dimensionals and I just got out a brand new sheet and I seriously don't know where it disappeared to. This one will make it through one more though. And we're just gonna place a few more on the back of the uh, second label. And I tend to use a lot of dimensionals and adhesive because I just wanna make sure nothing flies away. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna place our label right on the center. And this is just a simple thank you, but pool party and real red paired together are just gorgeous. Then I am going to take some of our new iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. These are gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle in the um, rhinestones, but they are so, or gems, basic jewels, I guess they are. They're so pretty. And I'm going to use two of the bigger ones and I am just going to place them on each side of the label. It just kind of anchors them down. Just kind of a fun little like they're hammered down look. This one could be moved in. I'm very picky. I don't like the way that one fell. All right and then they have to do the inside of the card. I always like to add a piece of basic white cardstock to the inside of my cards. So this is cut four to five and a quarter and I love to add some DSP. So this is another piece out of the um, Tulip DSP and I'm going to this is just a four inch by I think three quarter inch strip and I'm just going to place it right down at the bottom of my piece. I just love to bring the outside of the card in. It just makes for as we say happy mail. So we're going to go ahead and use our um, stamp and seal and we're going to go ahead and stick this to the inside of our card. Now for thank you, I probably would not put a message inside it. So there we go. There is a super cute, simple thank you card um, using the Tulip DSP. Now I have several more Tulip cards I wanted to share with you. This is a super fun, fun, fun technique using more of the um, Tulip series. This is a piece we're going to go with the pool party in real red again. And I took a piece of five and a half by four and a corner cardstock, just one piece. This is pool party. Then I took more of the designer series paper. When I return, re refer to it as DSP, it is called designer series paper. That is what we call it in Stamping Up. This is cut to five and a quarter by four. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to use our stamping seal. And we're going to go ahead and stick that down to our cardstock, like so. Then I took another piece of pool party cardstock and I used our paper trimmer and I cut this to three inches by eight inches. And our blade, our little arm goes out so you can cut it to eight. And then I scored it with our scoring blade at four and a quarter, just like that. So it's like a mini card. This card is just so cute and fun and you can do this card so quickly. So once we scored it, we are going to crease it with our bone folder like so. And then I took some of the DSP, the Tulip DSP again, and I cut this down to two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stick this right to the front. Oops, it would help if the tulips are right side up. I don't think they grow upside down. They're probably frozen underground right now. We're going to stick that right to the front of our card base. I also have some basic white cardstock because you have to have some white for the inside of your card. And that is also cut to 
um, three, no, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick that inside of our card. So you can write a little note on this little note card, like so. Then I have some labels that I already pre-stamped. We're gonna make this a birthday card. This is out of the Sentimental Squirrels. I love this set. I love the sayings, happy birthday, thank you, hello, for you, some fun flowers and birds. Just a super simple, cute set. So this is called the Sentimental Swirls. So I've already stamped in real red the happy birthday. I am going to take my pool party ribbon once again. And we are going to, before we pop the label down, I'm going to tie a bow and they never ever work when you're tying on camera. It's just a given, but you know what? We're gonna humor ourselves and try. So I want my bow to be on the right hand side. So I'm gonna attempt, keyword is attempt, to tie a bow over here. It's so quiet in my house tonight, it's kind of weird. Usually it's chaos in the background. All right. And then once you get it tied, if you can get it into a bow that looks decent at all, you just kind of play with it. I don't know if this one's gonna cooperate for me or not. Cause, oh, there we go. And um, play with your tails till you get, there you go, that's not terrible. It's still kind of big, but you get the dust of it. Okay, then I always like to trim my tails so they're at an angle. And this one's pretty long on this side, so we're gonna just trim it up. All right, now we are going to go ahead before I stick the bow down, and I am going to stick this to the card base using my stamp and seal. And this one I do kind of put quite a bit on just because it, I don't want it to fall off. I, it's not going to, but I, like I said, I make sure nothing falls off. Just a bad habit that I have. Stamping up probably loves how much adhesive I go through. All right, so we're going to stick that on. Isn't that cute? This card is so much fun. It's so simple to make. Now we are going to take some more dimensionals and we're going to place some on the back of our label and pop the backs off once again. And we're going to place this right down over our ribbon like so. And I might kind of want that go that to go right to the edge and you can play with or pull your bow over a little bit so it's not on your greeting. There we go. And check out these adorable, and where did they go? Oh, come on, I know they're right here. Yes, they're right here, where did they go? These adorable, adorable little brass butterflies. Are these not cute? Like I've already gone through a couple packages. They are so much fun. So we're just gonna place a little butterfly. Trust me, this just pops the card. Check out the little bud, whoops. That didn't work very well. All right. And I'm just gonna kind of work with my bow. I'm not the happiest with how that bow turned out, but not the end of the world. It's not tight like I like it. I might retie that later. But you can see how it is. Now, if you really want to have a little bit of fun, another thing I like to do is I love to take my little scraps of DSP and add them also to the bottom of the card. So this would just be a three and three quarter and that's like a half inch piece of paper. That added isn't, this is a much better bow. Isn't this just an adorable card? And here's the coordinating envelope. I just took some more of the DSP and I'll actually show you that in case you haven't made one of those. And I just take a strip of DSP and I basically cut it to Actually, the size of the envelope. Actually, I'm not even going to cut this one because I'm going to show you a little cheat trick. I use my Stamp and Seal Plus. You can use, watch out for the rolling take your pick tool. You can use um, multi-purpose glue. It works just fine. I like to cheat and be fast and use my um, stamping seal. And I put my paper right, I want to put it on the crease of the envelope and I also want to get it to the edge of the card as much as I can. So just like so. 
I may bend it down. Yep, looks good. Now, um, a lot of times it's fun to take your paper snips and trim around the edge of the envelope. Another fun thing to do is just leave it as a straight fold. So I tend to grab my paper trimmer or I'll use my scissors. You just don't want to get too close to your envelope and chop it right off because I've, I've done that and it's not a good thing. So we're just going to cut that down. And you can see I have just a little bit of an edge that I didn't get close, but that's okay because now it's real easy to just grab my paper snips and trim that excess right off. Now I still, that's too thick of a flap and that's okay because I'll show you a little trick that I do. I just turn this over and I use my um, trimmer and I go ahead and cut a straight line. I still have plenty of adhesive to seal it with and here is a strip to use in the inside of our cards. So that is just a fun um, little tip tip that I like to do. Um, as you can see, I used a lot of the different combinations out of the um, paper pack. Isn't this cute? This is our new um, red ribbon. We're gonna make another card with that in just a second. Look at this bright, fun one, this happy birthday. Aren't these just adorable cards? Just write a little sweet note in there. Super cute. I mean, just a fun gift to get in the mail, especially when it's so cold and dreary. Who wouldn't love a fun card like that right now? So those are super cute. Once again, it is just a, a quarter of a piece of cardstock. So it is a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. Then this is a eight inch long by um, three inch wide. And then your DSP is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Super, super easy card to do. Have fun with these. You could just make a ton of these so quickly. I've really enjoyed making that card. So there's some fun tulip cards. I've got one more to show you because like I said, I'm trying to tell myself that it's warm. Um, it's not working, but I'm trying. This is another one, and we're going to make this one into a birthday card. And this is using our pumpkin pie card stock. Once again, it is a four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We'll go ahead and do the inside of the card. This is another basic white, and it is cut four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stick that down because I like to add basic white inside my cards for card base. I just think it's neater to write a little note on. You do not have to at all. Darker colored cardstock you do, but light color you don't. Here is a little strip of the inside of the paper um, for the inside of the card. And you could use either side. I just decided to have the flower show. And this is a four inch wide strip. And they can be about any size you want for the inside. So the in out. The inside of the card is done. Now I took a piece of the DSP that is four by five and a quarter again. I tend to use standard measurements a lot. And I took a one inch, actually this is inch and a quarter. I'm almost sure, let me measure that. Yep, okay. inch and a quarter by um, five and a quarter inch strip. And we are just going to mount this with our Stampin' Seal Plus. And I'm going to put this on the left edge of the card, like so. And then I am going to take some of our Evening Evergreen Organdy Ribbon. And before we go any farther, I am going to put some of this, and we're not going to even try a bow with this card. We're going to knot this one, because I, I tend to do knots as much as I do bows. Neither one will work out well on camera, but it's okay. You guys get the point of it. So we're going to go ahead and attempt, keyword is attempt, to come up with a, and I really don't like that. Oof, that didn't work. It looks like a really messy knot, so let's try it one more time. Sometimes it works to do it right in front of me more. Okay, well, still not the best, but we're gonna go with it. It's better than it was. 
and I'm going to trim my tails. Whoops. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this down with our stamp and seal plus to our card base. It helps if you do the card right side up. I feel like things are just flying all over tonight. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down to our card front. Looks good. Then I have a label from the In Good Taste labels. Love these labels too. And I'm going to use some of our Evening Evergreen. And I have my stamp set mounted. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. We're going to go ahead and we're going to ink this up. Once again, these are some of our Paula Premier stamps so we can see right through them. And you can use grid paper to kind of line your label up. Um, I eyeball it more than I tend to line up, but I love these because you can see through your clear blocks and get a pretty good um, vision of what it's going to turn out like. So that looks good. I'm happy with that. Close up this ink and we are going to, you got it, place some dimensionals on the back of this one. Got to pop those labels up. These are some extra dimensionals out of one of my paper pumpkin kits I didn't use. Normally we have full size sheets, which I did get out and I don't know where it went. I swear, I turn on my camera and my craft supplies just go running. Like they just go hide. It's just a given. That one I got too close to the edge. I'm just going to curl it up a little bit. All right. So we're going to place this right over the ribbon. Like so. That's cute. I could slide that over a little bit. It's it's good though. I'm happy with it. I sometimes I like it when the ribbon goes over the label just a little bit. Then I use some of the in color iridescent gems and I am going to pick some of the bumblebee yellow ones and we're going to just place those with our take your pick tool around our card. You can use the putty in too but I never seem to have it handy when I go to stamp so I always just place them this way and it works really good for me too. So I'm just going to place a couple of those around the card. I always like to do things in odd numbers so I tend to use three and I love our gemstones because they usually come in multiple sizes so I usually start with a little one and then take a larger one towards the top. Isn't that just another fun card? This tulip paper is so beautiful to work with. So there's just a fun no one deserves a happier birthday front um, than you. Once again, this is out of the flowering tulips bundle. So there's another. So there's three fun, quick tulip cards. These cards are so easy to make. I wanted to show you, remember, it is celebration in Stamping Up. That means free stamp sets with, um, or DSP with a $50 order. So I have a super fun little cute card. Um, this is out of the celebration flyer that also just went flying away. Where did that go? Hmm. Um, darn it. Okay. Well, anyway, this is the, oh my goodness. Here we go. Right here. I really try to be organized. This set is a fun one. Look at all the great choices. This is driving by. This is so cute. All of the choices this year are awesome. These little cars and the little van, super, super fun. Such a fun little set. Another thing that is amazing is our six by six sunshine and rainbows DSP, which is another gift that you can pick for every $50 order through the end of February while supplies last. These are some of the great choices you can get for each $50 order. They are fun. I mean, the choices are just fabulous this year. Absolutely in love with them. So I made a cute, cute card and it's so simple. So I'm gonna show you what I've gotten done. And once again, this is all pre-done too because I'm really trying to roll these through. I used a Melon Mambo card base and this is um, cut five and a half, scored, um, at four and a quarter. And I, once again, did my inside card base for, well, actually this one is five and a half by four, but either way, it's the same dimensions. So I'm gonna put that right 
in there. So the inside of my card is done once again, because it's a dark cardstock base. Now I cut a basic white four by five and a quarter. And I just cut some of these, this DSP. I have used a pack. I mean, I literally have scraps out of the first pack. I've made so many fun cards and I just cut some strips. So these are, um, oh, what are they? They're five and a quarter long and they are half inch. Yep, that's what I was thinking. And I just picked some fun bright colors that kind of all coordinate together. And we are just going to lay these out. There probably isn't the little polka dots, the rainbows, just some fun bright colors. And I'm gonna add those to the edge of my card. So those are cute and I like the way that looks. So I'm going to, and look at both sides. They're all double patterned. Both sides are patterned, cute, cute paper. I'm just going to go ahead and stick those to the side of my card like so rainbows are really really hot in decoration home decor clothing they're just really popular and they're so fun who doesn't love a good rainbow um so i'm going to stick those down this is just a great way to use up leftover scraps of your DSP too. So there's that. Then I'm gonna take the little card, the little card, the little car, which I've already stamped. This is the car, I have it mounted. These are rubber stamps. Um, and I stamped it in Memento Black ink. And we're gonna color it a little bit with some pool party. Um, let's see. Actually, I think you all know, well, we can color it up fast. And you can get really creative. I'm gonna color this kind of quickly just because you all know how to color. These are Stampin' Blends. I absolutely love them. They do not leave lines like markers do. They color absolutely beautifully. Um, they're alcohol based and they just really are fun to color with. This was our My Pool Party Blend Light. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just go over some of the lines. Sometimes I do this first, sometimes I do it last, but I'm just going to give the car some of the outlines a little bit of shadowing. And I really kind of want it to just, you can go back through and blend them in. You can color as much or as little as you want. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the wheels. And I am going to use some of my light gray granite. We're going to color in like the hubcaps. And I'm going to get the bumper and the front bumper. Forgot to get my little tire rack and I went outside of my line just a little bit there, but it's okay. Um, and then I'm going to use some of my dark smoky slate. I really wanted my black for the tires dark gray gain it here. That's not the one I want either. It is right here. Yes, basic black light. I wasn't going to make it really black, but I am going to give the tires. I'm going to make black tires, right? Tires are usually always black. So there's my tires. This has a, a paintbrush type edge and a fine tip point. I, um, I like to use the brush, but, but I do use both from time to time. Um, I'm going to color in my hubcaps on this one blue to match my car. I wouldn't have to, but I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Then I'm just going to take some of my fun pastel colors and I am just going to color in the presents because, you know, who doesn't love fun presents colored? So this is Granny Apple Green for the bottom one. And then let's use some pumpkin pie and we're going to give these stripes. Whoa. I think we will use our fine tip for this one. And you know what, since that splurged through, I'm just gonna, I was gonna stripe it yellow and, but orange, but that didn't work out very well. So we'll just do this a little different here. And for smaller spots, you can see the fine tip edge does work pretty good. Let's use some melon mambo and have just a fun present lid here. And how about a Highland Heather present? All right, this looks like a super fun birthday. Look at all those 
fun presents headed your way. I am going to use my stamp and seal and these are layering circles and a scallop circle out of our layering circles die cuts already pre-cut this is pool party stamped basic white memento black now we are just going to pop that off the card can you tell this card is getting so cute you guys are gonna love it this set is amazing once again it's free with a $50 order and we're just gonna place those around pop that off with your take or pick tool all right now I took some pool party and I go out an eighth of an inch from my four by five and a quarter and oh my I just changed my trimmer blade and uh, it was a little dull there so you can see the edge was up just a little so I just took my finger and wiped it down so I am going to go ahead and stick that down so we just have a little shadow of pool party and before I do that you can see my strips were a little bit longer than my um, card base and that's okay so I'm just gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna just trim those off just a hair so we're just gonna take them just like that perfect okay There we go. Now, I thought it would be fun. I don't know why. It's just cloudy while I'm out cruising today in my car. So I took my cloud punch that, oh, where did the cloud punch go? I had everything laid out. So it's probably, why do these things happen to me? Well, you can see, I will show you. Um, The cloud punch is amazing and it is, so cloudy today it decided to move on me that is weird um hmm. okay i will show you the cards that i have come up with this is one of the clouds punch this is right out of the dsp with our brand new cloud punch so isn't that cute so on this card you can see that i went ahead and i finished this by adhering this to the front of my melon mambo card base you could add happy birthday or a note right here this one is the finished project of this card. And I did pop some clouds up with dimensionals, driving by to just say hi, smoked, um, stamped in um, gray granite. And I added a strip of DSP to the inside of my card. Is that not fun? Um, check out the coordinating envelope, bright. No, actually this envelope goes to another one. Wait till you see this card. Check this card out. This is using the, um, pattern party DSP. I stamped the van on um, basic white. I stamped it on the pattern party and then I pieced it together. Super, super cute card. Look at the little um, flower gems. This is a fun one with a coordinating envelope. Added some DSP. I did add an extra layer of granny apple green inside that one. Super cute card. These cars are so fun. Here's another one. I just was having a blast with this little um, strip thing. Added some rhinestones. I can see one went flying off because there should be three on this card. Here's another one. This one I actually goofed up on my stamp saying on the back. Um, so I just did another scallop circle and I stamped it in Melon Mambo to match the card base. Added some rhinestones. I did add some Wink of Stella. If you're not familiar with Wink of Stella, Wink of Stella is super fun. It is just, and I like to add it to a lot of things. So we are going to add it to the presents because presents have to glitter, right? So we're going to add it to the presents. I think this one, I'm just going to leave it on the presents, but see how it adds a little extra sparkle. So I love to use that. I also made another cute card driving by just to say hi with the car. This is another one out of the driving by free celebration stamp set. Isn't that just cute um, with the envelope to match? So those are some fun ones with that. Then I have another really fun thank you card that I wanted to share. And it has, um, this is from the flowering fields stamp um, set. And once again, it's a great one too. This is just a really, really fun set. I have everything mounted and we are going to make another thank you card because we always need thank you cards, right? This is out of our scallop and contour die cut labels. And this one, I am using some flirty flamingo 
and I have a soft succulent card base um, cut five and a quarter by four, scored and folded, four by five and a quarter, um, Florida Flamingo. And we're going to stick this one down to our card front. This one I'm actually going to do sideways. Then check out our new gingham um, embossing folder. I This is so fun. Fun texture. So I've already um, embossed this with our new embossing folder. It's just a folder. You literally put your um, paper inside the folder and roll it through your stamp cut emboss machine. And we have the stun. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down to my card front. And you don't want to press real hard um, to indent it, but I don't have that problem. It's embossed very well. This one's a fun one. So there's that. And then I'm going to take my label and I've got my flower stamp already mounted. And I'm going to ink it up really good. And this is our Flirty Flamingo ink. And I want to literally tuck it down. Why does this just not seem right? Down here in the corner. Like so. Looks good. Okay. Then I'm going to stamp my greeting. And I put thank you on this one. And so I'm going to use some of my basic gray ink for that. And you could, um, there's great scenes in the set. Happy birthday. Thank you. I just liked the way thank you fit up in the corner of this one. So there's thank you. Now I do love to add Winkastella to this flower. Just watch what it does. And I just kind of add it to the inside for some pretty, pretty sparkle. Isn't that gorgeous? It just, it looks so crisp. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to go ahead and put Stampin' Dimensions on the back of this one. And we're going to put one here and one here. Pop them off again. You guys know the routine, right? again $50 order and you get free fun sets this month so there's our thank you and sometimes I like to just add them at an angle and I'm going to because I think this card is more fun at an angle um, so there's that and I placed some of the new um, we also have some other fun new gems and these are the polished dots and here is the finished project. And my dots are moving on me because I got caught. So there's the finished project of this card. As you can see, can you see the bling? I added some polished dots. Once again, I added some card base to the inside of it. Now to be fun, if I'm gonna mail this card, I love to decorate something, either DSP or stamp set. So I just stamped a flower right down in the corner of that envelope. Super simple fast card. This is a beautiful set from the um, Creatively Multiplied stamp set. Super fun card. I have one last card and I know this is getting long so I'm going to wing through it really quickly because I have a really fun card special with the Nuts and Bolts set. Um, if you purchase a $50 order and you want a card class in the mail, um, you would obviously need the nuts and bolts stamp set and ink of your choice because I can't send that, but I send all the pre-cut cardstock for a, um, you'll get to make four cards free with envelopes. If you are interested in some fun nuts and bolts cards, here is a couple quick ones that are in the, the kit. And we're going to make one really quickly tonight. Uh, the, once again, this is a free card class, Nuts and Bolts, and it comes with a $50 order. And the Nuts and Bolts said, obviously, you would need to make the card unless you already have it. So everything would be pre-cut and directions you would just assemble a card. We're going to make a fun card tonight with this Nuts and Bolts stamp set. I know this is quirky, but I just think it is the funnest, cute stamp set. And you know what? Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So it's not too late to make those Valentines. This is a Highland Heather cardstock base. Once again, scored. I tend to really stick to those sizes. Four and a quarter by five red. And then this is three and three quarters by five basic white. So we are going to layer. I have to stop and think how we did this one. This card is so cute. 
and I shaked it up a lot. I'm going to do the inside of this card first to just get this piece out of the way so the ink doesn't fly on it. So once again, I like to put those inside four by five and a quarter. Card base. All right. Then I took a piece. Actually, Stitch so sweetly labels. Well, let's go ahead and get this part done first. I use these labels all the time. They are the best die cuts. Love, love, love Stitch so sweetly labels. So I'm using Memento back ink and I have my little robot mounted up. And I am going to put him towards the top of the die cut. And I didn't quite get my ink solid, but you know what? I stamped another one, so... I'm going to go ahead and re-ink that one because I didn't like the way that one turned out. It would have been fine, but another little cheat skill is you can take a black marker and uh, color in your lines a little bit. I do that a lot if my ink doesn't stamp all the way through. So I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to go ahead and I have my seine mounted right here. We're going to take some real red ink. And this one is You Make My Heart Go Beep. Is that not cute? I mean, this would just be such a cute Valentine for a friend at school. Heck, even your husband, your boyfriend. It's just a super cute card. I'm going to use my Real Red Stampin' Blends and color in the heart. Once again, if you like this card, this could be one of the... this. Um, could be one of the cards in my card class that you can get free with a $50 order. And I am going to use my um, Stampin' Blends and I'm going to color in the robot. I have my, um, I don't want that one. That one is way too dark. Let's see. I have my gray granite dark and my light gray granite. So this one, I am going to take my darker gray granite. We're going to give them some dark legs. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of go around some of the edges where he's bolted together. I just thought this was a silly set. And you know what? It is so cute. It is just so much fun. Okay. I'm just going to take my light. You see how it just gives it some dimension to use your dark? That's what's called blends. We have a dark blend in each color and a lighter blend in each color. And they are fun. And we are getting some new colors. Um, as a consultant demonstrator, I have been able to pre-order them and they are skin tones. So much fun. They're beautiful new colors. New things excite me and stamping up. So like I said, I get to order them early as a demonstrator. That's another fun perk of being a demonstrator. Whether it be for yourself, a hobby, friends and family, there are so many great reasons to give it a try. And the special two free stamp sets. You just can't go wrong. So we're just going to color in. I'm kind of hurrying tonight. So sometimes I'll take a little more color. But cute, cute, cute. All right. Now I am going to take this. And I am going to take my DSP from the, um, this is called the, Sweet Talk. I just could not think of that when I got ready to use it. And I'm going to go ahead and no, I don't want to stick this down yet. Stop. We're going to use our, this new real red ribbon is amazing. It's like a linen thread. Absolutely love it. You've noticed I've used it on several projects tonight. It just, it ties like a dream. Of course it won't tie like a dream when I want it to, but it, the feel of it, it's just so pretty. I love it. I'm going to have to be careful because I have adhesive on the back of this, so it's probably going to stick to my paper and be a mess. But I'm just going to, I know if it is, tie it like, it's not too bad. Okay, like so. And, whoops. All right, and I do want that on the edge because I'm going to put my label down. I'm going to go ahead, though, and I'm going to um, stick this down to my basic white. And the basic white is cut um, 
three and three fourths by five. And oh yeah, I only had a little, I was like, what's wrong with this? Oh yeah, I only had that little piece before I forgot that I hadn't done my ribbon down first. So that is stuck to that. Now we're gonna take our label and we are, it's okay because we're gonna put something over it. It's a little bunchy, but if I, you could put a Stampin' Dimensional under, or a Stampin' Mini Glue Dot under there to stick it down, but it'll be fine. We're gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of the robot. Tin Man, I'm not sure, I think he's a robot. And we're going to go ahead and peel these off. I'm just about done, so bear with me, because these are just cute, fun cards. Cute, cute, fun cards. At least I think they are. Hopefully you'll enjoy them too. We're gonna go ahead and stick him down. And remember that cute wink of Stella? I am going to go ahead and make his heart glitter. I love to add sparkle to cards. All right. Isn't that just fun? Okay, now I decided to use my stamp and seal. And I'm going to put my four by five and a quarter on the front of my card base. This is Highland Heather is the card base. Go ahead and stick that down. And just for fun, I used Stampin' Dimensionals on this. And once again, you know me, I love to add dimension to my cards. I struggle with just keeping it simple, sorry. Um, yep, I struggle with using too many dimensionals too. Good thing I am a consultant, a demonstrator, because I go through a lot of them. Like I said, use your take, take your pick tool to pop them back and then you can just toss them right in the garbage. It works so slick. And we are going to center this four by five and a quarter. This is five by um, three and three fourths. Go ahead and stick that down for some fun dimension. We're not quite done yet. One more thing I want to do is I want to add some of the red basic jewel rhinestones. These just are fun too. And I'm just going to put three of them around the card. If I can get them out of the package, that is. Hmm, they seem to really be in there tonight. All right. I'm going to place one over here. Like I said, I usually always do things in threes. Are those, these just like pop the card between the glitter on the heart and the little gems. I just love this card. So there you go. Isn't that cute? This is actually the finished project. You make my heart go beep, beep, beep. How cute is that? And I did use the Sweet Conversations um, stamp set. And I use the Happy Valentine's Day for inside the card. There's a little piece of the DSP. And there's the envelope flap with more of the DSP. What a fun card. This is a card class that you can get free with the purchase a $50 purchase and the nuts and bolts stamp set unless you already have it you can do any $50 purchase if you want the card set just message me and I will be sure you get all the card stock and supplies to make these four um, cute cards so that you've seen three of them there's still another one super cute cards don't forget the tulip bundle and the awesome tulip cards the thank you card the happy birthday the super fun note card and then we did the, um, oh, these look like they're just kind of a mess, but there you go. There's the happy birthday. There's our cute birthday card. There's our um, thank you card. And don't forget, we did the other thank you card. And, oh, there's one more of our tulip cards. Happy birthday. And here's my favorite one. Except that's the one with the bad bow. Let's grab the one with the great bow. These are such a fun technique. So hopefully you enjoyed those. And last but not least, don't forget it's celebration. So you can get any of these fun choices to make some super cute cards. All the cards are cute and fun, but don't forget. We have the driving by just to say hi. The car, the van, the um, rainbow. DSP. The choices are great. It's celebration. 
don't forget it's paperwishesbymelinda.com hopefully you enjoyed these cards i will try to be much more organized and get a lot more classes and videos coming your way i've been working pretty hard lately and stamping a ton so i hope you enjoy everything if there's anything i can do to help you just email me or give me a call i have lots of things posted on my blog too thanks for stopping by good night